Hey everyone, there was a G7 meeting in St Ives this weekend and Joe Biden even flew over earlier in the week to meet with Boris and discuss the really tough questions ahead of time. You know, things like whether to get to Cornwall via the M4 or the A303. That was a tough one, that. You, know, you probably remember that nursery rhyme quote as I was going to St Ives, I met a man with seven wives. But contrary to the lyrics, no Middle Eastern leaders were invited. I guess, of course, the man with seven wives is more likely to be the Prime Minister. Joe Biden has, of course, been trying to get people to sign up to his minimum tax pledge, which is likely to be quite good for the UK economy as the financial services industry signs lucrative contracts to help companies relocate their earnings overseas to a non-G7 country. As they say, tax needn't be taxing, but it really should be if you do a good job organising your finances. Just ask any of my 28 declared dependents. You know, I make so many deductions, the HMRC calls me Sherlock. Anyway, Sleepy Uncle Joe's plan will work great, just as long as they somehow convince Hong Kong, Monaco, Bermuda and Switzerland to sign up to high taxes. Luxembourg is more likely to win this month's football tournament to sign up to, and more importantly, enforce those high tax proposals on foreign companies. As to the other leaders in attendance, well there's Emmanuel Macron, he's enjoying his last summer as president before he gets trounced in next year's election. France is in a real mess these days actually, despite having a town called Nice. I should probably do an extended video on it one day, but we're in a similar situation to the Algeria crisis of the 1960s, with the army openly penning letters about a military takeover, all while members of the public hold Macron in not a disdain. We were recently treated to a video of a man slapping him in the face at a walkabout, and if that's what his supporters are like, who needs enemies? In Paris itself, the unrebuilt shell of Notre Dame Cathedral now stands as a metaphor for government incompetency and malaise. It's going to take a decade or more to fix it, and personally, if I was Macron, I'd bring in the Germans to get it sorted. I mean, they finished a thousand-year Reich in under 12 years. They do things fast, the Germans. As to the conference itself, the only other questions being discussed were what to do with COVID. You know, if they had any nerve, of course, they'd publish the evidence and go all in on China with a full set of economic sanctions, get the seven economies to circle around Beijing like the hyenas at the end of The Lion King. Or if it's President Jinping, let's maybe go with a Winnie the Pooh reference if we're doing the Disney thing. As to stand, of course, nothing of substance came out of it all, but, quote, progress has been made in a number of major issues. By which, of course, they mean lunch, and perhaps agreeing on a release date for that new James Bond film. That thing's been delayed so long they should probably rename it for No Eyes Only. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.